a best case scenario in Denver. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, former Viking Case Keenum makes his debut in orange and blue as his Broncos take on the rebuild defense of the Seattle Seahawks. I'll be back at halftime with a look at the other games that are going on. But first, we're off to the Rockies. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Seattle Seahawks. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get... Here's the first NFL carry for Rashad Penny. The Pro Bowler Chris Harris is in on the tackle. Play action. Now Wilson. Looking for Baldwin. Intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. Right, but how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said they didn't lead the points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves, and maybe reward their defense. Now Wilson on second down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The pitch goes to Penny. But a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. On second down, here's Wilson. Completes it to Dixon. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Here's Penny. That is touchdown number one of the NFL career of former Aztec Rashad Penny. And First down with Wilson. Dumps that off to Penny, his running back. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Penny on the toss right. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throws left side, complete to Brandon Marshall. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. He got 29 yards that time. Action and take your shot at the end zone. On third down, Penny. 
And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Movement, some room in order to do that. That one didn't work. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone, touchdown. Takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Ball. Start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Trying to throw the ball. Just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. On third down, Wilson. And he's got a man open. That's Marshall. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now Wilson on first down. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Torn back across his body. They go play action with Wilson. He's going to lock one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. A gain of 39 that time. Now Wilson to throw on third down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. After chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And it... They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The 12 yards and time and picking up the first. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with a football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. 
as we get late in this one, is altitude a factor for a visiting team in Denver? Is that something that's overplayed? No, it's real. And I know a lot of the visiting teams like to downplay it because they don't want to get into the heads of their players. But you can't avoid it. As soon as you get to the locker room, you get to the stadium, they always post it in there. Welcome to Denver. Altitude 5,280 feet. The air is rare. He finds his man, Baldwin. And he goes down, but not before the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got a field break. Yeah, defensively a backbreaker. Now they'll run it on the toss. Open space inside the 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Rush. to the 10 and he will score touchdown Seattle here's a give to Penny wiggles free and a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. A nice run there, nine yards. Fetz, do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That good for 19 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he will not be denied into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. They begin with a run by Penny. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Football. <laughs> you got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. They'll run it now out of the gun. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Seahawks, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears.